Happy Black History Month and welcome to the red carpet. I'm excited about this one. So across my timeline for Black History Month, I've come across all these amazing, elaborate door decorations that teachers put up in their classrooms. And it's incredible. I wanted to do my own version of it. So I am scrolling through the materials that I use. Um, I couldn't find like any specific directions on how to make the door decorations. So I just looked at the photos and kind of came up with my own thing. So before I share it with you, I'm just going to ask that you please, please, please like the channel and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get started. So we're using colored paper. I got this brown paper. It's like cardstock. And I'm just sketching out the shape of a face. I draw a little bit. I'm not that great at it, but I'm using a light pencil in case I have to make corrections. And we're going to draw the eyebrows. I'm going to make the eyes closed and just try to sketch out a nice symmetrical face as neatly as possible. So far so good, so I'm just gonna outline everything with a black marker and then I also used colored pencils to do some nice shading. Purple's my favorite color, so we have to use purple. Now I am going to figure out what to put as far as clothes. Now you can use anything. What I did is that I printed out a Black History Month collage with all of these amazing people from Black History and I just glued that across the shoulders to make a nice little top. So we're going to use fabric and I'm just trying to sketch out where exactly to glue the fabric. Um, I ordered this print online on Amazon because I wanted to use colors. Last year for my Black History Month project, we used a lot of neutral tones, a lot of earth tones, but I wanted bright, bright colors. So I'm using this fabric with purples, greens, yellows. I really, really like it. So I am using hot glue to apply the fabric to the sides. Always using caution with hot glue, of course. And as I'm applying the fabric, I am going to make little folds. And my hand is totally in the way, so I'm gonna switch the camera angle so that you kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm creating little pleats by folding and securing with hot glue. There we go. Now again, I'm not sure what technique that uh, <laughs> the teachers use to do their doors. I also decided to draw some ears. <laughs> So again, the teachers used actually toilet paper rolls to create the textured hair. Of course, that's too large to scale. So um, I ordered black straws on Amazon and I am going to cut them all up. And I cut up 10. These are 10 straws and I got a pack of 250. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions about what to do with these black straws, please let me know, put it in the comments. And we're just using um, tacky glue and putting the straws down. Uh, you don't want to arrange it in a specific way. You kind of want to switch directions. And it's no wrong way to do it. You just fill in the gaps. This is like a really fun, old school kindergarten arts and crafts. I absolutely love it.
So I don't like the way it kind of cut off abruptly at the top. So I am going to trim a piece of uh, the colored paper off of the side, glue it to the top, and then that way I could extend the hair. So here it is. And I like that a lot. I like the silhouette. I like the nice shape. And we're going to set that aside to dry. And I decided to make another one. So I repeated the process. I drew out the face. I did a profile instead of uh, from the front. I used the collage for the clothing. And we um, hot glued the fabric for the headband. But instead of using straws, I am using tool for the hair. So what I did is I cut out squares of tulle and I folded it in half twice. Then I folded it from corner to corner and carefully hot glued it to our colored paper. Again, always using caution with hot glue and I'm actually using the bottom of the glue gun to secure the tulle in place. And I just continue to cut the squares, fold it twice, and then corner to corner, and carefully gluing to the color paper. And I like the look. It looks like a bunch of big fluffy hair, which is what I was going for. So from here, I am just gonna carefully um, secure the headband in place with hot glue. Just gonna fold it and make sure that uh, it takes a nice shape. And like I said, once I get into place, I'll just use a little hot glue to secure it. I also um, wanted to trim the end a little bit so it won't be as long. And I am going to use the um, fabric that we cut off I'm going to use it to try to create a little band to um, tie up our um, head wrap in the front so I'm trimming off a little piece and I'm just going to wrap it around in the front at the forehead and lock it in place with a drop of hot glue I had to trim it a little bit more because it was too long. So we're just gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Use a little hot glue. Now again, I actually tried to find instructions on how to create these, but I couldn't find any. So this is kind of what I put together. I would love to see how like the teachers have made their awesome displays. So since we don't have to worry about drying time, I'm going to go ahead and cut this image out. So we got it all cut out and I am using foam board. We're going to cover it with paper. And from here, we'll just um, glue the image. We're using tacky glue to glue the image onto the foam board. Now I have these gold stickers with uh, letters and numbers and I am using the zeros to create earrings. And I have these ridiculously large eyelashes that I have no reason to use. And so I think it would be great for our decoration. So here we are, our uh, wall art is done. It's ready to be put up on the wall and it looks great. So before we do that, we're gonna go back to our first item that we were making and everything is all dry so we went ahead and we glued it onto the foam board that's how it looks from the back and then again we're going to um, use hot glue to secure the head wrap in place and so here it is with the sticker earrings and the lashes adorable I absolutely love it so now we have two different versions of our Black History Month decorations, and now I am going to create a doll room to display. So we're gonna start off with flooring. For flooring, you could either use a towel or a sweater. I use a sweater right here. Super quick and easy. For our side wall, um, I used 
a window. I actually had used this uh, several times in different dioramas. The uh, scenery is just from a calendar. For the back wall, I'm just going to cover with scrapbooking paper. And I had a little challenge lining up the pattern, but that's okay because we're going to cover it with our furniture. Um, in the corner, I wanted to add more color, so I just draped a piece of fabric right there in the corner. And for our plant that we're going to use in the room, I uh, used a bottle from hand soap, covered it with jute, glued in the plant after um, wrapping it and felt. Let's put that right there in the corner. For our couch, I just uh, cut up rectangles of styrofoam, covered it with fabric, and here's our couch. There are plenty of um, how-to videos on YouTube how to make this specific couch. For our tables, I just used portion cups. I painted the insides of them, um, stacked and glued some paperboard for the tabletops, and these are end tables. Super quick and easy. For our coffee table, I did the same technique. I just used a fruit cup at the bottom and again stacked the paperboard. For our decorative bowl, um, I was inspired by the image from Amazon. I just used toilet paper and water and glue for that, colored it with markers. I took sticks from outside, cut it, filed it down with a nail file and glued them together to create the base of this lamp. That is plastic around the top. The lampshade is just scrapbooking paper. I used the plastic to fit the candle in, the flameless candle, and you just turn it on and you have a functioning lamp. And I would love to try to make a video showing how I did that. On the coffee table, I'm using uh, another candle for the plants and we're featuring books on our coffee table. These books are by African American authors and um, the reason I selected these specific books is because um, there are discussions of these books being banned in different school districts throughout the country which is just like really a mess to even discuss in the year 2022 like I just I just can't imagine so if you're interested in literature at all then you know please check out uh, books by black authors and support few finishing touches we're just going to add pillows again I, I love the bright colors that we're adding and lastly I got this velour paper it's really um textured kind of fuzzy and I used it to print out a rug so super cute again I love the colors and so the room is all set up for our wall art So here it is, our full display featuring the wall art that we made. The lashes are <laughs> so ridiculous, but I love them. I think that it's super, super cute. I do wish that I could have, uh, I should have drawn the ears a little lower because the earrings are a little high for me, but it's okay. I really, really do like it. It's super cute and it's the theme that I was going for. Again, I want to say thank you to all of the teachers that inspired me. To create this um, teachers do such an amazing job with kids and it's just really 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 amazing so I wanted to especially give a shout out to my niece who is an elementary school teacher in the city of Chicago so I'm so proud of her and she's amazing again shout out to her and all of the teachers working with young kids I thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are amazing. And as always, you know that I love to hear from you. So hit me up. Leave comments in the video. You can reach me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I always love hearing from you. You absolutely know that. For leaving a video, for leaving a comment on the previous video, we're going to officially welcome Sandra Kreider to the red carpet. And if you want an official welcome, all you have to do is leave a comment. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. And remember, it's more fun to make it.